Boy, do I love the headlines in this paper today. It says, Captain E catches a 60-pound Kobe in Buford. We hope that happens today. We're joining Captain J. Bache, a fishful thinking God service here in Buford. I'm going to sit back and enjoy this coffee here at the City Java News. You stay tuned and join us for some exciting adventures. Good morning, guys. We're down here at the Broad River. I'm with Captain English today. <laughs> Just trying to put our lines in the water. I literally set this in the water. We got about oh. a... Oh, what do we got here? About got 28 inch cobia. We're here cobia fishing in the Broad River. <laughs> oh, there he goes. First line in the water. We haven't been here 30 seconds, guys. Now, I've been here for a couple days. It's not going to be like this all day, but we're happy to take this right now, that's for sure. <laughs> Way to go, <laughs> Captain Jay. That's awesome. Just sitting there catching bait, and you're over here catching fish. Ah, oh, here he comes, English. He's barely hooked, so if you can get him. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's running again. This could be good. I think it's going to be one of those days. I hope so, buddy. I tell you what, English, I've been coming down here for years, and I have never caught one this quick. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even have our microphones on, so sorry if the audio is a little rough, guys. <laughs> That's great. There he comes. Oh, God. I'll tell you what, the water's cleaner than it was last year. Yeah, the water's too. pretty. I don't want to put more. He doesn't like the net job there, he buddy. He's not. <laughs> he does not want to get netted. We're slow playing him a little bit. We got a. Oh, here we go. We'll get this guy. God, dude. There we go. Oh, boy. good job, E. <laughs> yeah. Well, on the fifth try, good job. Yeah. <laughs> All righty, uh, guys. Look at it. Perfect. In the, in the mouth. Right in the corner of the mouth. Get this out of them. Boy, I like it when it happens quick. I just wish we'd have had our microphones on. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, guys. Got the hooks back. We're not even going to measure this guy. He's probably about 28 inches. They got to be 33. Uh, he's going back in the drink. Thanks that for playing, fight. buddy. Thank you, sir. Yeah, that was fun, buddy. Hey, now let's get our mics on. <laughs> let's do it again. <laughs> guys, we'll yeah. be back with some more fish. <laughs> Reel and Up the Coast is brought to you in part by Coastal Gas and Merle's Inlet. Free ice with purchase of 50 gallons of fuel. Located behind the Chamber of Commerce. And by t to c Fishing Charters, specializing in offshore and inshore private charters. For more info, call 843-655-5459. By Fishizzle Tackle. Reels are gonna sizzle when you go Fishizzle. Visit FishizzleTackle.com for your nearest dealer.
the dead dog saloon. In Merle's Inlet, South Carolina, USA. At Marshall's Marine, fun comes in waves and adventure is always waiting. Step inside the Southeast's largest climate controlled showrooms and select your next boat, Wave Runner or ATV. Choose from pontoon boats, deck boats, Triton and Ranger bass boats, Yamaha Wave Runners, Stingray Power Boats, and Arctic Cat all terrain vehicles. Marshall's is the largest marine dealer in the Carolinas and our service experience is second to none. We're just a short drive from where you are now. Family, fun, and fishing begins at Marshall's Marine, Lake City. Put a refreshing spin on your summer. Bud Light Lime. Superior drinkability. Ultimate refreshment. A splash of 100% natural lime flavor. One taste and you'll find the summer state of mind. Bud Light Lime. Before hundreds of pre-owns go to auction, Sparks Toyota is having a pre-auction clearance. Get up to 50% off pre-owns in our clearance zone. Our pre-owned vehicles are clearly marked with wholesale prices. Buy pre-owns with up to 50% off in the clearance zone. Great selection to choose. Get them now before they go to auction. Plus, log on at SparksToyota.com for a listing of vehicles under 10 grand. Pre-owned vehicles under 10 grand at SparksToyota.com. That's Sparks Toyota, where the dealer is always in. We just got hooked up again here, guys. How about that? All right, we're gonna try to keep him on this side of the boat. And he looks small. I think he's small. Yeah, he's small. But I tell you what, you can tell by the sun. We haven't been here long now. This is number two. Jay, what's the theory you call the bridge? This is called the turtle. There's a bunch of rips out here. The bridge rip, the turtle rip, the pi rip. Oh, we got big oh, spinach. Oh, nice spinach. Oh yeah, good eating. Nice Woo, Spanish, sorry, buddy. sorry. Look at that. That's a nice Spanish mackerel. Right oh there. yeah, self-released. Yeah, we're gonna keep that one and put them in the box. Right, we're not gonna lie, we're here to catch a little bit of dinner today. <laughs> uh, so if you see a couple don't go back in the water, that's why. Oh man. That's a good eating fish right there, Spanish mackerel. Look at oh, fishy. Yeah man, good job. Hey. All right, let's put that one on ice. Yeah, get these hooks out of here. See what we got. And anyway, it doesn't look like that 50 pounder you're dreaming about. No. <laughs> but we're happy to have something on the line nonetheless, That's right. buddy. Well, I'll tell you what, your nieces are having a blast next door. Oh, yeah. Catching bait right now. Here we go. He's coming in. All the right, top. Let me get in here behind you, buddy. Let's see. It might be another Spanish. He hit it. Yeah, it's another Spanish. Another big Spanish. We'll definitely take that. Yep. That's just crazy. All the way. What are we, 12 miles from the ocean? Yeah, we're a good ways from the from the ocean, and uh, these Spanish are running in here. A lot of times when I'm cobia fishing, they'll be jumping all around eating greenbacks. We got mono leaders, so every time you can get one in, it's a bonus. These, yep. are, these are a teethy critter right here. Delicious, too. Come on. Good table for you. Not yeah. quite like cobia. Not but. quite like a cobia, but he'll eat. There we go. There we go. Another nice Spanish Another mac. fish. Pretty fish. And uh, a lot of you guys want to know out there how to tell the difference between a Spanish and a king mackerel. Baby king mackerel have spots just like a Spanish. If you can see the lateral line on this fish, how it keeps a pretty straight line all the way through. Young king mackerel have a big kink in the lateral line, and it's easy to remember. K for king, K for kink. And if it's got a kink in the lateral line, you have a king mackerel. So you really need to pay attention when you're catching these Spanish that you don't have a young king. Because if you get into the uh, dock and the game warden's sitting there, he's going to know the difference. <laughs> so you better know the difference too. That's right. And uh, we're going to throw this guy on ice as well. We're uh, excited to have him. We'll put lemon pepper Spanish mackerel for dinner tonight. All right. That's awesome. All right, Jay, um, you know, these are the same rigs we used last year when we were here, but I know we didn't go into detail as far as tying them. Why don't you show everybody how you tie these rigs? No problem, Inglis. Uh, we're, like I said, this is my cobia rig, and I also use this rig for live bait trolling for dolphin offshore. 80-pound um, mono. You want to get about six or seven feet of it. You're, you always want to have as much leader as the length of the fish you're trying to catch. So that way if the fish is facing away from you and you're pulling on him and his tail is hitting the line, 
he's hitting your leader instead of your main line. So let me show you what we're doing here. This is a number two, four strong treble hook. And you see on the treble hook, there's a flat side and a raised side. What you wanna do is you wanna come in through the eye, lay the line on the flat side of the hook, and just spin down the shaft of the hook seven or eight times. Get to the end of your line and go back through the eye. And that snells it right on the right on the leader, like that. And then you go to the end of your line, take your second hook. Once again, flat side of the hook, raised side of the hook, lay the line on the flat side of the hook, go through the eye, pull it up. Now I like to set these hooks about five or five, six inches apart because one's gonna go in the nose of the bait and one's gonna go in the back of the bait. So our green backs are about eight inches long. So I set it about there, pinch it down. Once again on the flat side, roll it seven or eight times. Take your mono, go back through the eye again. Get my fingers out of there. <laughs> Pull it tight. That's it, guys. That, that, that snells them on just like that. And that's all the rig we're using. It's not not rocket science. Anybody can do it. And uh, we put them on the water with an eight ounce egg weight right behind the boat. We use a chum bag with an anchor on it. Um, I'll get into detail with the chum with you all here in a little while and show you what we're doing with the chum. But uh, this will go straight behind the chum bag on the ground, and 90% of the strikes come off the rod that's sitting behind the chum bag. And that's right. it, guys. Let's get this thing rigged up and get it out. All right. Fish on! <laughs> uh, I'm going to clear a couple of these lines out the way, Inglis. This hit the flat line, didn't it? Yeah, it hit the flat line way out the back. Uh, he's running doesn't, towards doesn't the other. doesn't feel big, but you know what? You never know. You never know. See, you get him up here. Uh, he's going to try to run into our other lines, Inglis. You're going to have to be careful with him for a second. All right. Okay. Oh, Spanish. You saw him? Yeah. You're underneath that? He's, or he's, over it? you're under it. He's under it. Look like another nice Spanish. Oh, he's coming back to the left. Okay. I'm coming around you. All right, there we go. There All go, right. Man. Look like a Spanish. Yeah, I think he it's. He looked real shiny. Yeah, I think it's another Spanish. I think he's a little Good bigger. Deal. A little bigger than the other ones. Oh, there he goes. Oh. Yep. All right. That's a good thing about fishing down here. Quite a few opportunities. Yeah. Even if the cobia aren't cooperating. Yeah, we'll be happy to catch Spanish all day. He's right in that current. Come on. There we go. Decent sized fish. There he is. There's a tail. It might not be a Spanish. Uh, I think it is. Huh? I saw him before. I think it's a Spanish. Oh, really? I think he's just a little foul hook. I think he's just a little foul hooked. He's just pulling yep. hard. Yeah, he is foul hooked. Yep. Yep, he's just foul hooked. Not as big as the first one, but still. Oh, he's still good. Yeah. He's still good a lot better than those 12 inches you catch on the beach. He'll eat good. He'll eat good. So, if I can get him in the net, he will. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, I thought he came off. Made a little run. What's that? What's, what's the knot you got tied with your That's leader? Albright knot. And you put that just on your live bait one? Yeah, I'm on my free on the flat line. line. On yeah. the flat line, I tie an Albright knot right there. I try not to. Yeah. There you go. Here we go. There we go. Another nice Spanish mackerel. Yeah, man. Pretty fish. Good table pretty, fare. Pretty fish. Let me uh, I'll let you get, get him over here where we can see him on camera. Real pretty fish. Real pretty fish. And again, they're up here, you know, we're 12 miles from the ocean and they're all the way up in here, but with with there being no fresh water in here, I'm sure it's just like the ocean to them. Yep. You yeah, know, this nothing. is where the bait's at and they're following the food for sure. These Speaking guys, of, these guys got some teeth, so we're gonna get, get some pliers, get him out of the net. Yeah. Speaking of food, I'll tell you what, Chef John's got a great recipe to share with you guys today. Let's go to the dead dog and see what he's got cooking. Hey guys, I'm back here at the kitchen of Dead Dog Saloon with my good friend, Chef John. Today's cooking at the dog. We are going to do something great. 
I think it's a scallop recipe. Got a little scallop dish going here, Inglis. Again, this is another one of our new items on the new menu here at Dead Dog. It's a, it's a unique kind of southwestern scallop dish. Uh, chorizo and scallops over pappardelle pasta in a cream sauce. So we're going to walk you through the steps here today. But the first things first, we got our fresh scallops right here. And as always, we got to season our fish good. This is just basic salt and pepper mixture here that we use at Dead Dog to save an extra step. And we got a hot grill going on back right here behind me. This is just some uh, olive oil. We want to make sure we got a real hot grill. You hear that sizzle there, because what you're looking for in the scallops, guys, is a nice hard sear, golden brown color. I know we talk about that a lot on this show, but it is really important. Oh yeah, you're not going to want to touch those very much. You want to leave them alone, let them set there and get that crusty brown color on the bottom. That's where all the flavor is, guys. As for our sauce, uh, what we want to do is get started. We got our saute pan, a little bit of oil. We got some minced garlic right here. Alright, we get that saute in. Once your pan is pretty hot, you can tell from the sizzling it is. Got a little bit of dry white wine we're gonna get in there. And that's called a white wine reduction sauce. This is a white wine reduction, yes sir. See, I'm actually paying attention to you. I pay attention to you in these cooking segments. Well, it is a learning process, right? <laughs> there, One day, I'm actually going to be able to cook. All right, guys, what we got here is some nice Spanish chorizo. It's a spiced sausage. You can get this down at uh, farmer's markets down at Paulie's, but uh, check out your ethnic sections in the grocery store. You might be able to find it there as well. Simmer nice. All right, guys. We got that simmering, and what we're going to do is just take some heavy cream, pour it right in there, and let that reduce with the chorizo in there, so the chorizo imparts all that nice flavor into the cream sauce. Okay guys, so our sauce is reduced down now to a nice consistency. You see how that's about half as much liquid as we had before. We're going to season the sauce now. It's very important you don't season your sauce until the, 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 the uh, reduction is completed, because if you season it first, that sauce reduces down, you might concentrate the, the salt flavor too much. Next thing you know, you got a salty sauce, and that's no good. What we got here is some pappardelle pasta, pappardelle, however you want to say it. It's uh, also known as like a ribbon pasta. It's really cool stuff. It's kind of just like a thick banded uh, fettuccine alfredo um, oh, pasta, yeah. but uh, nice thick bands there. Real tasty, guys. Take a good look. Plating. Use a pasta bowl, um, really anything. And then if you remember, we got our scallops working right here behind us. This is the color you're looking for in your scallops, guys. Get those seared scallops on there. And to finish this dish off, like I said, it's a southwestern thing. We got some fresh cilantro, again, from our friends on at Inlet Culinary Gardens. Doesn't get any fresher than this. Nope. And there we go, guys. We got our chorizo and scallops. All right, John, I, I got to I got to give this a try. All right, you got it. English. You tell everybody about how to get in touch with us. Absolutely, guys. Check us out on the website at deaddogsaloon.com. You can email us any questions you have or check out recipes. And as English enjoys that, you guys probably noticed we're not outside enjoying the good view here at Dead Dog. We're we're back in the heart of the kitchen, uh, promoting our new menu. And uh, if you guys want to check out our new dishes? Come check us out right down here in the inlet, guys. It's beautiful. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. <laughs> you guys, make sure you, you get in touch with Chef John. Get these recipes and try them at your house. They're not that hard to cook. You can get everything you need here in Inlet. Inlet Culinary Gardens has some great seasonings. Um, looking forward to using some of their stuff. But for right now, I got a fish on the end of the rod. I better go back to the boat.
Before hundreds of pre-owns go to auction, Sparks Toyota is having a pre-auction clearance. Get up to 50% off pre-owns in our clearance zone. Our pre-owned vehicles are clearly marked with wholesale prices. Buy pre-owns with up to 50% off in the clearance zone. Great selection to choose. Get them now before they go to auction. Plus, log on at SparksToyota.com for a listing of vehicles under 10 grand. Pre-owned vehicles under 10 grand at SparksToyota.com. That's Sparks Toyota, where the dealer is always in. At Marshall's Marine, fun comes in waves and adventure is always waiting. Step inside the Southeast's largest climate-controlled showrooms and select your next boat, Wave Runner or ATV. Choose from pontoon boats, deck boats, Triton and Ranger bass boats, Yamaha Wave Runners, Stingray Power Boats, and Arctic Cat all-terrain vehicles. Marshall's is the largest marine dealer in the Carolinas and our service experience is second to none. We're just a short drive from where you are now. Family, fun, and fishing begins at Marshall's Marine, Lake City. Flat line. Yeah, you wish you can clear a couple of them lines out yeah. for me. This might this might be a cobia. Acting a little bit different than a Spanish. If it's a Spanish, it's a good one. He hit that thing while you were letting it out. Yeah, he? he hit it while I was letting it out. Get out your way here. Appreciate it, buddy. I'll tell you what, neither English or I runs out of here down in Beaufort. We all run out of Merle's Inlet. But this is just a, such a fun place to come and do a little fun fishing. There's one more up top there, English, if you can get that one out the way yeah, for man, me. I got it. I got it. You know, it's not rocket science. You guys could probably see in the background, there's boats everywhere doing this. Uh, we've been having yeah. a fun morning. We've hooked a bunch of Spanish, a couple cobia. Feels like we got, oh yeah, feels like another cobia yeah. on here for sure, guys. Good, good, good. Oh, Let's just hope he's big enough. I've been catching a lot of little ones over the last couple days. I've probably caught 10 little ones in the last three days and one keeper out of 10. We're here a little bit early. Uh, it's the first of May and uh, first weekend in May, I should say. Yeah, there's a good run. Yeah, that's This great. one might be a better fish, English. That'd be nice, that'd be nice. Yeah, like you said, you've had a run of the 15 pounders. We'd like to trade them all in yeah, if I could and get us 160. <laughs> if I could trade all those 15 pounders in for 160, that would be nice. Now guys, we're, we are, like Jay said, down in Beaufort fishing, but Jay, Jay runs an extremely great guide service out of Merle's Inlet. Fishful thinking guide service. He's fished with us several times and I know we'll be fishing again real soon and uh, you need to get in touch with him. Just go to fishthinkscguides.com and uh, you can check him out there or 902-0356. Give him a call and set up a trip. He does everything. I mean, inshore, offshore, whatever it is. He's a special specialist of all of them. <laughs> if it swims and you want to catch it, we can chase it. That's right. I like your motto. Let me show you why I love where I live. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Living down here in the South Carolina coast is such a fun place to live. There's all kinds of fun stuff to do down here. There he is. All that's right. a big old Spanish there. Yeah, that He's is. got shoulders on him. I'm foul hooked. That's why it felt like a cobia. Yeah. Got there him. we go. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, man. That's a nice. That's a nice Spanish. That's a nice there. Spanish there. About six, seven pounds Spanish. I got him. I got him. Oh man. Come on. All right. Well. Appreciate it, buddy. It wasn't what we're looking for, but guess what? Hey, buddy. Fish nonetheless. It's fish nonetheless. That's a nice Spanish. You can check his teeth. This is definitely fish you want to be careful with your fingers around. And boy, what a beautiful fish. And delicious too. Yeah, great, great table for you. All right, thanks for playing, buddy. We're gonna throw them on ice. <laughs> South Carolina, USA.
Put a refreshing spin on your summer. Bud Light Lime. Superior drinkability. Ultimate refreshment. A splash of 100% natural lime flavor. One taste and you'll find the summer state of mind. Bud Light Lime. Reeling Up the Coast is brought to you in part by these following sponsors. Harry's Bait and Tackle, offering the freshest bait in our area since 1954. By Towboat U.S., Little River, Myrtle Beach. Sign up today and we'll make sure you get home safely. And by South Carolina Bank and Trust. At SCBT, it's our beliefs that set us apart. We believe in our people, our customers, and communities we serve. All right, guys, another year's coming and gone, and I didn't catch that big one yet, but I'll tell you what, Jay, I really appreciate you bringing us down here again, and I look forward to next year, hopefully, us coming down. I think, you know, we just got checked by DNR, and, and we found out from them they haven't seen one fish all day today. Well, you know, English, it just seems like it's happening a little later than normal this year. We had that real cold winter, and, uh, you know, just because what we were after didn't hit the line, we still had a fun day. We caught a bunch of Spanish mackerel. We made the best of it. We did catch a nice size Kobe in the beginning, really fun time. Uh, we didn't get that 50 or 60 pounder, but you know, I'm happy with what we did for oh. for what we saw other people do. We oh, had I'm, a great day. I'm thoroughly <laughs> thrilled. You better, uh, I, I, I totally agree with you. Now, Jay, tell all the viewers when, when they want to get in touch with you, the best way to get in touch with you is probably through the website. Let them know. Yeah, website is fishthinkguidesc.com. Uh, name my business is Fishful Thinking. I'm at a Merle's Inlet. Uh, phone number 843-902-0356. And uh, one more note, Inglis, I'd like to thank Key West and Marshall's Marine. They did supplied us with this boat. What a great fishing boat it is. And yep. uh, those people have just been nothing but great to me. So. Yep, I'll tell you what, when you're on this boat, you know, like when we were out there sight fishing them, yeah. it was perfect. We could both stand up on it. Yeah. You know, you were steering with your foot. Yeah. It worked out perfect. <laughs> yeah, nice tall platform on it. It's a, it's a good fishing boat and uh, it's made right. Well, I'll tell you what, once again, guys, I, it's, it's great coming down to Buford. I've had a great time, and, and, and Jay, I look forward to next year, our next experience. I know we're yeah. going to go before. I oh, know yeah. we're going to go before next year. Oh, we yeah. got some exciting stuff to share. But, guys, you make sure you tune in next week for some more exciting saltwater adventures with me, Captain E, and more Reeling Up the Coast. <laughs>